evening, everyone. I just would like to thank everyone for coming tonight. My name is Dr. Brown, Principal's Governor. And I know tonight there's probably eight other things that you have to run to, um, that you set aside some time just to be out with us. We greatly appreciate it. What you're going to see right now is exactly what we showed the seventh graders this <coughs> afternoon. Uh, except you get a little bonus feature in the cafeteria. Our teachers have provided an exemplar for you to see what kind of activities they'll be doing throughout the course of the year. Um, so without further ado, I know a lot of you have other places to go. I'm going to introduce Mrs. Diamond, uh, our counselor, counselor extraordinaire, to uh, introduce everyone else. So thank you. agenda for this evening. If you don't, if you raise your hand, we'll make sure that we get your agenda. Okay, most excellent. Uh, the other school counselor that it has been my privilege to work with this school year, as Mr. Hutch goes on sabbatical, finishing up his doctorate, so he'll be wiser than me when he returns next school year, is Teresa Gerhold. And she's been working with the kids M through Z, and she's a phenomenal young school counselor. So if any of your munchkins are M to Z, although we love all the kids A through Z, she would be the uh, young lady to call. 4444. Uh, she's fantastic. Here's some new people coming in. That's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so this evening, you can follow along with um, what we're going to do this evening. Uh, on the flip side, we provided what your munchkin should be bringing home to you tomorrow after school. So if this doesn't arrive tomorrow, I think they should have a logical consequence. And that would be after a 500 word essay many paragraphs on why it's important to bring your course selection sheet home. And we'll send it to the state for the PSSA writing prompt. <laughs> um, you'll see on this form that what your child's going to have to elect tomorrow <coughs> is in rank order one through six, what elective they would like to take. <coughs> number one would be the first elective, number two would be the second choice, number three, through six. They also have to determine what world language they would like to take next school year. This gets returned to us on the 25th, which is Monday, a reminder that the 25th is a 10 o'clock start. If you didn't know that, you know, you don't want to send them out to the bus too early, unless you want them to be real tired when they get to school for us, and in that case, that's fine. But they won't be learning a lot. Um, they also have to choose the optional elective of band, course, or orchestra. If they choose band, course, or orchestra, they lose study calls. And that's what we put in the little margin to the learners so you can understand that as well. After the presentations have concluded, as Dr. Burnham mentioned, in our cafeteria, which is down the hall, uh, our teachers have been kind enough to put exemplars of what students have done in, in their classrooms in the cafeteria for you to walk around and look at. If you have any specific questions about the courses, the teachers will be there to answer those questions for you. Okay? Hi, girls. Does anybody have any questions before we start? No? 